U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry says the United States is ready to welcome more refugees. The U.S. refugee cap now stands at 70,000. Kerry says that number will grow to 85,000 next fiscal year and 100,000 the following year. Many of those additional refugees would be from Syria. Global leaders are being urged to do more to help hundreds of thousands of migrants crossing into Europe this year. Juliana Tamarazzi is founder of the Iraqi Christian Relief Council, a fellow at the Philos Project. Describe the conditions that you've seen in the refugee camps in Jordan. They're terrible. My Assyrian nation has been reduced to begging. Um, they are sick. There are so many that are cancer stricken. Uh, they don't have the money for rent. In fact, the talk on the, on, in, on the street is that there are Saudi Muslims that are coming to Jordan trying to convert these people as they've been displaced. Uh, there's so much work that needs to be done from bringing their dignity, dignity back. And really, if they want to leave Jordan, and many of them do, uh, the UNHCR and different world powers have to give them the opportunity to leave and migrate to the West. Or if they want to return to their homes, it is very important for people to know that the Christians of Iraq are the Assyrian children of Nineveh. And the world needs to really start thinking post-ISIS. These people want to go, that want to return. How do we return them? How do we restore them? And how do we bring them back to their homeland? Tell us briefly about a vigil that's planned in Washington ahead of the Pope's arrival and what you would like the Holy Father to do or say. First of all, we are welcoming him to the United States of America. And we're ecstatic that he is so, um, for a forthcoming on this issue. He's talked about it repeatedly. He called it a genocide in Bolivia. And we really hope that he will call it a genocide in Congress because let's face it, when Congress, something comes out of Congress, it's amplified throughout the world. We want him to use his immense leadership to mobilize the Vatican, to make this a, a prominent issue and use his diplomacy to bring world powers together to really defeat this Islamic ideology that is killing not only the Assyrian Christians, but also Yazidis and Turkmens. And I believe personally that by engaging the clerics, the Islamic clerics, bringing them to the table Table, we can make a difference. And people listen to him, especially the leaders of other religions. So we'll Indeed. pray for that for you and your people. Juliana Tamarazzi, thank you for joining us. Thank you. Thank you so much.